Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and this video is about Kony 2012. So here's the deal. If you haven't heard about this, this video went super viral. Last time I checked across YouTube and Vimeo, it had something like 38 million views on it, which is just a ton for four or five days. It's gigantic. Um, and what it's about is this guy, his name is Kony, and he's a Ugandan warlord. And as Ugandan warlord, he does some pretty terrible things. Uh, the, the top three that caught my attention were, one, he takes young boys, like, you know, even 10 years old, and puts them in his army, right? A real army, not, not like a, you know, persuasion army or yeah, one with guns, one with maiming, etc. Uh, that's one thing that he does, and, and kids die early because of him. But the other thing he does is he takes young girls and he puts them into sexual slavery, right? So so already he's topping the list of some of the worst things that a person can do. And then he maims people as, as punishment. He cuts off their noses and he cuts off their lips. And if you were to see someone after they've suffered this kind of punishment, then you'd recognize that they're they're scarred for life in a way that, that you know, and it, it's really tough to live life after your nose and your lips are cut off. It's 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 hard on them. So, uh, you know, so what does what is this film about? What is he aspiring to do? Well, he just wants to bring attention to Coney. He wants him to be as famous as George Clooney, as, as Barack Obama, as the famous people on Earth, so that um, the United States government is pressured into doing something. The United States typically only takes action, you know, in other people's wars when we have a security or financial interest, which yeah, at a high level seems like uh, a pretty good idea, but there's also a matter of right and wrong. You know, if we can do something to, to make the world a better better place, then perhaps it's a good idea to, to do so. So uh, so that's what this thing is all about. He's hoping to bring attention to this Coney guy and and uh, you know bring him to justice. What he you know, his ultimate goal is for him to stand trial in an international court for the things that he's done. That's that's the objective in this thing. And if you're like me, you're like, you know, why not just hire a mercenary to go in there and, and you know, one shot, one kill him. And it turns out that that works better in Hollywood and Rambo is not actually a mercenary that you can hire. And, you know, that, <laughs> that's how it is. I took a little while to make a video on this because I wanted him to be more properly vetted. I wanted, you know, organizations like CNN and MSNBC or Fox News or whatever your favorite is to take a look at this and interview him and talk to him and see what he's really doing. There has been sort of a you know, anti-publicity backlash on, on what he has going on. People who, who don't like his efforts went and had their say. And I found their criticisms to be mostly illegitimate. Um, something like 35 or 37 percent of the money they collect actually goes towards the charity, which at first, you know, knee-jerk reaction is like, hey, that's not very good. You know, where's the other, where's the rest of the money going? Like the other 65 percent. But, uh, if you look at charities, that's not all that uncommon, really. And, you know, you only get amazing films like the one that, that's getting this kind of attention, like the one that's getting this kind of traction, if you devote a little bit of budget towards films like that. And, and that's actually, filmmaking is a big part of, of what they did. If you see, he traveled around the world, he interviewed people, etc. Now, that doesn't happen for free, and they haven't collected this kind of money before. If uh, I, I bet that if we would look at their records a little bit in the future, we'd find that the percentage that goes towards the, uh, the effort goes up because they have you know extra money in the budget for things other than filmmaking and uh, I was also thinking about devoting my money and my time towards this charity every March every year this will be the third year in a row I do a fundraiser and it's pretty successful I've raised like twenty two thousand dollars so far and that's that's kind of a big deal I'm proud of that but uh, I, I looked at I was like well maybe Coney 2012 will be the thing I do this year instead of the March of Dimes which is also a pretty good charity and um uh, they came on TV and they said, we don't need any more money. We've got plenty of it. Uh, you know, we don't want your money. All we want is you talking about this. We want your mindset. We want you to, um, you know, have your politicians be in favor of doing something about this guy. So, uh, you know, so that's, that's where I am. I probably won't put money towards this thing because they don't need it. They don't know what to do with any more of it. I'll probably instead, uh, you know, just talk about it. <laughs> and then where the money goes, well, I'm going to leave comment voting on and I'd like your feedback. One of the ideas that I had was a suicide-based charity called To Write Love on Our Arms. And their objective is to link together people who you know are having suicidal thoughts and tendencies and need help with people who provide that help because right now that, that doesn't always happen you know people aren't sure what step to take next who who are suffering who are in trouble who are just sort of alone in their rooms uh, contemplating doing something terrible let me know about your favorite charity and then i'll leave comment voting on and we'll see uh, you know what the community thinks and maybe that can influence our decision 
If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a like. If you're new around here and you want to see more videos, you can click on subscribe in the top right corner. Two videos you may have missed. The top one is Wife Wednesday. It's a weekly dual com I do with her, and it's always a good time. The bottom one is a Black Ops video where I talk to David Vondahar and, and you know the track guys in particular and try to influence some of the things that we want to see in the next Call of Duty so that it can be the best Call of Duty possible. Uh, check that out. Leave your comments and, and you know let him know because I, I really think that Treyarch's going to look at that video and say, all right, you know, here's at least one piece of community feedback that we can consider as we put our game together. So uh, yeah, good stuff. Links in the description and have a good day.